Today I'm gonna go over a few solo drills that you can do by yourself, especially if you have a throwing dummy like this, right? That can get your mobility going and get you um, get your body more used to to what you're gonna be doing later on, which is like a rolling BJJ, right? Uh, first, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, okay? Hit the bell icon so you can have more information on solo drills and other jiu-jitsu techniques. Okay, so let's start with the Toriano uh, and Neon Badly right here. Normally, to get started, okay, especially if you're a beginner, it's always good to get the movement right and then speed up as you go, right? I like to start with both hands on the throw with dummy like this, right? And right now, I'm gonna take a step to the right. So once I take my step to the right, okay, you're gonna have all this gap right here, right? Once you have the gap, you're gonna fill out with your left knee in this, uh, in this case right here, right? I'm stepping to the right, I have all this gap right here. Right now, my left knee, I'm gonna fill out and I'm gonna put it right here. Make sure your upper body is straight, right? You're not gonna put all your weight back or anything like that. You have to be balanced, right? As the right foot is gonna be planted on the floor. Uh, one good way to create quickness on your feet is to go back to the middle, right, without crossing your legs right here. So that's very important that you don't cross your legs, don't cross your feet, otherwise you're gonna be off balance. Right now I'm gonna do the same thing as I put my both hands pushing the, with both hands down, right? I'm gonna take a step with the left leg right here and I'm gonna have this gap right here, right? Once I have this gap, I'm gonna fill out with my, my right knee. So the right knee goes straight. I don't take any other step on the floor, okay? So just to make sure right here, I don't take a step here and then I put the knee, right? I'm gonna go straight with the knee, make like a circular move right here. I'm gonna make a circle, look, and my knee goes straight, right? Then I'm gonna go back to the middle in the same fashion right here, right? keeping my feet uh, apart, right? I'm gonna do the same thing right now to the other side and I'm gonna keep going back and forth. So I take a step, right? Right now, only one step, right? And my knee goes in a circle straight to the stomach right here, right? Boom. Okay, back to the middle. Here, middle. You notice that I don't cross my feet, right? And I try to keep my balance as much as I can. Okay, so I can do a continuous move right here, okay? And like I said, with time I get the quickness, okay? The main, the most important thing, okay? Especially if you're a beginner and you have, uh, you have a little difficulty with muscle memory, right? One thing that you wanna do, okay, is start slow, okay? Take a step, the knee goes straight right here. If you have to take this hand off, you take this hand out right here, okay? So you keep your balance. You go back to the middle, and right now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side, right? As you feel comfortable, okay, as you feel comfortable as you get the rhythm, then you can start speeding up, okay, and keep on going right here. Another easy drill that we can do uh, also that's very easy for beginners, okay? It's gonna be neon belly. So if you have a throwing dummy like this, you always wanna imagine that you're gonna have the head and you're gonna have the waist here, okay? Uh, and always the chest as well. You're normally gonna start like chest to chest, like this. Make sure your knee is close to the hips and close to the shoulder, right? Uh, if you wanna start with the hand like this, that's okay. If you wanna start the hand with the dummy, that's okay as well. But remember, always the knee that goes on, on the belly, right? Is always gonna be the bottom knee. It's gonna be the knee that's towards the hips right here and legs, right? So either way, if I wanna start like this, or if you wanna start with both hands on the dummy, okay, whatever feels comfortable for you. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna push it, okay? It can be on the floor or on the dummy. And as soon as I, I, get, I get up, right? As soon as I come up right here, I'm gonna put knee on belly, okay? So make sure the knee is gonna go straight to the, uh, in this case right here, it can be on the chest, right? If you're simulating that the chest is this part, okay, and the head is this part right here, right? Uh, in a real situation, probably it's gonna be on the stomach, but we say knee on, knee on stomach, knee on belly, but I also can go to the chest. Remember, like, if you're doing the uh, training partner, you're always gonna get a reaction, especially if you're rolling. When you put knee on chest, normally, 
uh, expect for a reaction. When the knee goes on the belly, normally you don't have as much reaction, okay? It doesn't feel so uncomfortable. But anyways, right now we're only drilling the, the move right here, right? So I make sure when my, my knee is on the, on the belly here, okay? My upper body is gonna be straight and I'm literally gonna be looking forward like I'm taking the picture, taking a picture right here, right? Like I'm posing for a picture, someone's taking a picture of me and I have to come up with the hip, uh, with the chest right here, right? Make sure you kind of sitting on your heel right here and the leg needs to be straight out, foot planted on the floor, right? Once you get to this position right here, you take the picture, right? And right now, you're gonna go back to the side control again, chest to chest and the knees, they go back to the initial position, right? Right now, I'm gonna come back up, knee on belly again, right? Come back up, knee on belly again. Come back up, knee on belly again. Come back up, knee on belly again, right? So I can go back and forth. And like I said, like the first drill, okay make sure you get the movement right first and as you as you feel more comfortable then you can speed up right so if i want to like speed up as i feel better right just make sure you're putting the correct knee on on belly right here make sure you're taking the picture you come up with the upper body right keep your upper body straight and then you can go back to back so another basic drill that we can do here from knee on belly uh we can switch knee on belly okay uh, keep switching the knee on belly right here. Uh, remember the first drill we did here, okay, knee on belly. You can do the other side the same way, right? The other side would be the same thing, just switching knees in this case right here, right? It's gonna be the same thing, okay? Make sure the knees on belly right here, make sure I have a good base, make sure the foot straight all the way out, okay? Plant on the, the, uh, plant on the foot on the floor, Right, make sure your foot's planted on the floor. Never like this, never like this, never put my knee on the floor, okay? It needs to be all the way out like this so you can create a good base, right? And upper body straight. To make sure your upper body straight, never look down, okay? That's on Jiu Jitsu gonna be bad for you because you can get reversed from that position, especially if you're wearing a gi, someone can just reach out to the collar and uh, reverse you, right? So make sure upper body straight and I'm here, right? Right now I'm gonna go to the next drill. Let's say I have knee on belly, okay? And right now I'm gonna put both hands. Let's imagine like your hands on the shoulder. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna make a switch, okay? From this knee to that knee. So what I need to do, I'm gonna pivot. I'm not gonna jump. A lot of people think that, like I have to jump, okay? To get the other knee like this, okay? That's gonna tie you out way faster. So what I do, I literally pivot, right? So I put the ball on my knee right here, and as I'm turning this knee, okay, I'm replacing by the other one right here. And the same thing, when I'm finished, okay, make sure you're taking a picture. Make sure you pose it from the camera right there, right? So I'm here, okay, and I pivot, okay, and I switch, right? Every time I switch, remember, it's like you're gonna touch your, it's gonna touch, okay, your hips, okay, right on your ankle right here. Of course, you're not gonna do that, otherwise you can fall back, but as with right here, you're gonna put like a little pressure to make sure that you're on the correct, uh, correct angle and you're not losing balance, right? So I'm gonna start like switching right now, okay? And as you see, I don't jump it, I only pivot, right? Boom, that's how I make my switch. I'm pivoting it right here, right? I'm pivoting it right here, okay? So that's another basic drill that you can do by yourself. I'm gonna do a final drill here with the knee on belly. So remember, all the drills we've been doing, okay, have to do with knee on belly, okay? Toriano knee on belly, uh, side control knee on belly, okay? Uh, knee on belly switch side to side. And right now we're gonna do another knee on belly switch side to side. But right now we're gonna uh, we're gonna do different. We're gonna do spinning, right? That one also requires a little patience if you're a beginner, right? To get the muscle memory and everything. So just take your time, okay? You don't have to do it like every other drill. Uh, we're gonna start slow and then we're gonna speed up as we go, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do right here, imagine that the leg that's outside, right? Is always gonna be the leg that we're gonna step over the head. So if this the head right here, I'm gonna step with my leg that's outside, the leg that's straight on the floor, 
doing my food planner on the floor. And that's one of the main reasons I have my food planner on the floor. So I get the quickness and also get the mobility to be able to move whenever I have the knee on belly, right? So I'm gonna step over the head, right? And right now this knee right here, I'm gonna replace this knee by this knee, right? So I'm basically doing this right here, right? By the time I have this knee on belly, this leg needs to give like one quick step all the way up, right? So I need to do like a long step over the head with this leg right here. Boom. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna end up with knee on belly to the other side, right? Same thing I'm gonna do it right now, the leg that's outside, I'm gonna step over the head, right? Right now I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna replace this knee by this knee. And right now I'm gonna step this leg all the way up. Boom. Right? As you feel better, you can start to speed up, right? Always remember to throw the leg all the way outside, right? If you wanna do like a very slow, that's okay. Boom. Okay, so you get the movement, right? Replace this knee by this knee. And do it again. Okay, and do it again. Okay, as you feel better, you speed up the process. Okay, and with the same principles of knee on belly, right? Taking a picture, make sure the knee is right here, right across, okay, either on the belly or it can be on the chest as well, right? My hips close to my heel, right? And back and forth, right? Even if you like content like that, like I said, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, okay? And hit the bell icon, and I'm gonna have like some, some really good stuff on BJJ for you. Thanks and us.